The living world around us comprises of all the plants and animals together. What is living? Something will be called living when they exhibit certain characteristics like growth, reproduction, consciousness, metabolism, etc. Firstly coming to growth. Growth can be defined as an increase in number and increase in mass. For example, the growth of a plant from its seed. A multicellular organism grows by cell division. Plants grow throughout their lifespan, whereas animals grow up to a certain age only. In the case of unicellular organism, they grow only by cell division. Another important characteristic of life is reproduction. Reproduction is simply the production of progeny possessing features more or less similar to parents. Reproduction can be of two types, sexual and asexual. Asexual reproduction can be of different types. In fungi, it is via spores, via buzzing and hydra, where in planaria, regeneration is seen. When it comes to unicellular organisms, as bacteria reproduction occurs by the means of cell division. Some living organisms do not reproduce, like mules, worker bees etc. Metabolism is another exclusive characteristic of life. The sum total of a chemical reaction occurring inside the body is known as metabolism. For example, photosynthesis, the process where a plant produces oxygen in the presence of sunlight involving a series of chemical reactions. As metabolic reaction can happen outside the body in vitro conditions also, therefore, the cellular organization of the body is the defining characteristics of life. Most complicated feature of all the living organism is consciousness, that is the ability to sense the surrounding environment, and respond accordingly. Environmental stimuli could be physical, chemical, or biological. All organisms from prokaryotes to complex eukaryotes can sense and respond to environmental cues. Environmental factors like light, temperature, water etc. regulate body functions, like reproduction in seasonal breeders. Human is the only organism that is self-conscious.